Well, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm here with Owl. We were just down at City Hall at a special meeting about getting a skate park built in our town. It's funny. It almost, it almost fell through our fingers because I don't know how to say it right. The skaters wanted a bigger skate park. So the, the, I'll give you the landscape on the deal. We've been battling to get a skate park here for about nine years. You, many of you have been following it on this YouTube channel. And uh, so we finally got a, uh, on a, there's a piece of land that had been previously set aside that had been environmentally impact report for a skate park on it. And there was a big land swap and blah, blah, blah. And so now it's come back around where we can do it on this piece of property. So the plan being that they're gonna build the parking lot for the skate park, put a temporary skate park on this, this parking lot and then move forward with the permanent skate park design. And those of you in the, the game know to go through municipality and stuff, it takes a couple years. Best case scenario, it takes a couple years. <laughs> We've been on this one for nine, my whole YouTube career. And so um, so the, 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 the amount of space allocated for a permanent skate park was 12,500 square feet, right? Well, there's like a, a, de a development right there that swapped the land. There's all sorts of moving parts, but we have the 12,500 square feet with already set. It's already ready to rock and roll. We just need to approve it by the city council and move on. So we're at the skate park meeting and all of a sudden, like the skaters, like the young skaters are like, we need like a 20,000 square foot skate park. We need a bigger skate park. 12,500 is not going to do. And I'm watching it and I'm like, oh no, man. Like we're so close finally. And then it came to like the city council members talking and one of them was not down for it. Another one of them's like, let's build the temporary park and let's get the, uh, Let's get the 12.5 and start going. And then they're talking about a second phase. Like, all right, well, we'll do 12.5 and then we'll do a second phase and do a whole new environmental impact report and the whole thing. And then the two main council guys that are my people were like, oh, well, let's kick this ball forward and see what's going on with the public and see if we want to do a bigger skate park. And I had already done a public comment and I raised my hand and fortunately I'm in on the mix and they call me back to the podium and I literally begged. I was like, please just vote to approve the 12,500 square foot skate park today. Don't, don't give up what we have now for a bigger skate park down the line. Like, let's not do it. We're gonna unravel everything. And I changed, I got them to change the, their minds right at the buzzer. And this old timer, like I literally begged. I, I'll try to dig up the footage tonight. I literally begged to get it changed. And uh, this old timer came up. He's like, dude, you just saved the deal. You just saved the deal. And it's that thing where like, there was a lot of young new, like like parents in the skating and young skaters in the thing and just not like the, the political landscape. But all, when you do a new environmental impact report, like it's a, you gotta get a designer in there and lay out what you have. But we have the old environmental impact report for a skate park. So it was this thing where in order to do this bigger skate park, you would have to go back to the drawing board again. And I was like, dude, we can't, man. I was so happy. I was in the back just like biting my fingernails. I mean, nine years later, dude, we got, we got it approved. We got 
the skate park approved to move forward. I mean, there's more obstacles on the way, but like, we got it, bird. Boom. We got it. We got it. I, I'm like beyond words what's going on. And I'm like, but it was so, it was so funny. It was like, it was like, it was just moving. It was super like, oh, we're going to pull it off. And then all of a sudden, like they started talking different about this, like skate park expansion. Then all of a sudden it was like, well, in two months, let's meet back here and bring the public. And we'll talk about what we really want to do. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You got to go in for the save. And, and I just went and bagged. I literally bagged the city council to not to vote for the 12,500 skate. And that's small. Like Venice is, I think, 17. The one over in Westlake's like six. I think Oxnard's, Oxnard's 14. I, I don't know what this, the Burnside's pretty small. So I'm, I'm a, I'm a one of those channel streets, pretty small. You can pack a lot of skate park in a well-designed skate park, but it was that thing where knowing the political landscape, I was like, we're going to like, don't get greedy, man. Take your 12, five and, and, and come back another day. They, I, I think I literally said we have one in the hand is worth two in the bush. I was like, we we give up this 12.5 now, we're never gonna catch another another skate park bird again. We did it. Al was running around with his little buddies in the back. Oh, it was so heavy, dude. It was the heaviest. And there were some people that, that came to, to talk against it. And come on, man. I got mad at this one dude who shows, it used to be like an ally of mine. I was like, don't speak against it because he wants to get a surfing heritage museum built. Like, ah, it's these, but it was just this weird thing of everyone's like, we need like a world-class park. I'm like, dude, we need any park, man. Any, like literally the city of Malibu, there was nowhere to skate except the red curbs down at Zuma or the red curbs at Vintage or the red curbs behind pav pavilions. No, pavilions? No. The, yeah, pavilions. Anyway, it was a nail biter, man. I don't even think I realized what just happened, except it was rad. An old timer just came up to me and was like, you just saved the deal. Like one of those dudes who sits around at council meetings, like you just saved the deal. I can't believe they let me speak again, too, because I begged that owl with me. And then a couple of the city count, the, the, the super on it. This is the hottest. The one city council member who I thought might not be on board was the, the one who wouldn't sway and was like, no, dude, we need to do it this way. And she came up. Uncle Larsky. Uncle Larsky came through at the buzzer. Uncle Larsky came through at the buzzer. Oh. Uh, Man, what a heavy, heavy nail biter. <sighs> what do you think, bird? You did it. <laughs> you want to say goodbye? <laughs> no. Are you making funny faces? Are you tired? You're tired, aren't you? Nah, he was running around in the back of City Hall. It was epic. Anyway, this is the illusion signing off from the front lines of trying to get a skate park built on Spaceship Earth. <sighs> Links down below if you like this channel.